Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Just reading a fascinating article over here on the Google Research blog. This is to do with NIMA, N-I-M-A, that's Google's Neural Image Assessment. And I think the last A is for algorithm, if I'm not mistaken. But basically what Google's going to do now is they are going to judge your photos and make a determination if they are aesthetically pleasing or not, if they're a good photo or a bad photo. It seems from reading through this that the basics of the software, if you kind of want to distill it down into a nutshell, is that the software is going to look at reference images. So in other words, probably some engineers, somehow anyways, Google is going to determine reference images that are of good quality. And then they're going to use those to train the software to judge your images and everybody else's images and the images on the internet and give them a score as far as how aesthetically pleasing that is. Um, that'll have aspects of if they're blurry or sharp, that'll have color aspects, all sorts of Im uh, image aspects that they're going to rank based on reference images. It seems to me from what I'm reading that it's all basically based on reference images and then whether or not the photo is low or high quality, they're gonna give it a score. Here's some samples that they list in the blog post here, and these are photos, test photos, from what they say is their large-scale database for aesthetic visual analysis, AVA. And these are ranked by the new NEMA software. Now you can see that the first one that ranks the highest, um, which has a, a 6.38 or bracket 7.16, um, that is a sunset over the water. These are usually pretty aesthetically pleasing shots. Next up, and close to it in score at 6.24, is a tree in a sunset, kind of a silhouette with some very interesting clouds. Um, now, this is interesting because to me, I would actually say I think I like the tree photo better. But Google software has ranked the sunset um, as a better shot. To me, the sunset is a pretty shot, but it's almost cliche, whereas the photo of the tree and the silhouette and the clouds is quite visually captivating to me, more so than that sunset is. So, um, you know, you may find the same thing or you may not. And this is one of the interesting things about this NEMA software is that we as human beings, when we assess whether a photo is aesthetically pleasing, whether we like it or not, it's a very individual thing. So is art in general. Some people will be like, oh, I hate that. It looks awful. Other people will be like, I just love that. And then you're going to have that scale, that sliding scale in between of, you know, indifference, kind of like it, kind of don't like it, and to either side of the far extremes. You got other ones here. Um, you've got the the tree. It looks like a windswept tree. It's an interesting photo. To me, it does look more interesting than that, that shot of the waterfalls. Uh, but then if we go down further along, I would say that perhaps the bridge shot to me is more interesting, aesthetically pleasing, uh, than the waterfall. So it's interesting to see how they are ranking this. And I'm curious to see what you guys think about this new software. Now we're having computers, we're going to have Google telling us via, yet again, another algorithm, how aesthetically pleasing, how good our images are or images that are online. What do you guys think of this? Do you think this is valid? Do you think a computer can ever substitute for a human response on something you know, when something's aesthetically pleasing, when you like it or not, that comes from areas beyond computer logic. That's whether it moves you emotionally, uh, whether it, it, it draws on memories of something for you, whether there's something that is moves your soul, if you will, whereas a computer can't do that. So what do you think of computers ranking these images? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. I'm uh, interested to hear your opinions, what you think of Google bringing out this software to Use an algorithm, use a computer to rank the aesthetically pleasing quality of images or how good an image is. Let's discuss it. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.